Is that my Tinkerbell? Uh, sure, sure. My goodness, is he upset? Uh, a little worse for the wear. Wherever did you find it? Well, it wasn't easy finding Tinkerbell. Apparently, she had been kidnapped. He? Him? Right. Him. Tinkerbell. Uh, just as you suspected. Uh, probably held for ransom. My. Yes, people have been very jealous of Tinkerbell ever since he right. got that cologne commercial. Excuse me one second. Yes, of course. Hello? Hello, Mr. Adder? Yes? Oh, oh, yeah. We just wanted to check in to see how you and Dragon are doing. Ow! Oh, we're great. He's quite a character, isn't he? We're so glad that you adopted him because we're about to have to put him down. You know what I'm saying? Yes, too many instances. But anyway, just remember not to be afraid to use the tranquilizer gun. And then he doesn't like very much, but he's in contact. Oh, and above all else, always, always keep a safe out of here. He does not like that very much. Oh! Listen, Susan, uh, uh, thanks for the call, but I got tons of work to do. And uh, anyway, thanks. Oh, no problem, Are you sure this is my Tinkerbell? Oh, no doubt. He just seems so different. Probably brainwashed. I'm sorry. Catnappers do it from time to time to uh, make them forget where they came from. My goodness, I've never heard of such a thing. You, you'll probably just have to take her to a cat whisperer or something, you know, to repair the damages. Damages? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking oh, of damages. Yes, damages. Will cash be okay? Always. Nine thousand. I guess we're all square. Brainwashed, you said. Brainwashed. Hey, that reminds me. What is that? This is a dart gun. Uh, it's got some vitamins, supplements, and a mild sedative. A tranquilizer gun? Yeah, it, it's just to calm his nerves. Uh, listen, there's a 30-day supply in here, and it should last you, uh, let's say, a week. After that, we'll pray. You take care now, all right? Be careful. Did he buy it? I think so. Sweet. Cowboy. What? It's Edder and Sons investigation, not Ederson investigation. Hey, I just gave you what you painted me. And what's this? See? And why'd you leave that off? That's not a letter, little bro. That's an ampersand. Are you freaking kidding me, cowboy? A what? Gentlemen, hey, uh, can I take a minute of your time? Uh, I don't know how to put this, but I need your help. Help with what? Uh, my daughter. Um, she was murdered six months ago. I'm sorry for breaking down like this, but I can't help it anymore. Well, we're not the police, Mr. Bordine, Carl Bordine, and I know that. But they've already given up on this. They think I'm some desperate father grasping at crazy theories. What crazy theories? My daughter. She was murdered by something. What are you getting at, Mr. Bordine? What I'm getting at is that my daughter's murderer is actually a werewolf named Billy Howell. See, I knew that. I knew, I knew you'd think I was crazy. Well, personally, I believe you. Thank you. No one has said that to me in months. So, uh, you seen it? Well, not exactly, or, or not fully. But he did chase me. Chased you? Cindy! Cindy! It was the night my daughter was attacked. 
I ran to save my life. I wasn't thinking, I just ran. I ran as fast as I could, but it found me. I couldn't do anything. It kept getting closer and closer when so he killed it? No. No, I didn't. I should have I should have stayed with my little girl. How old was she? She's 21. Wait. What were you doing in the woods in the middle of the night with your daughter? Yeah, man. I was there looking for her. I knew she was dating a young man who lived up by the lake uh, by the name of Billy Howe. Seriously, Howe? Oh, yeah, that's how I knew it was him. Because of his last name? No, not because of his last name, but because he is the only other one that was there that night. Well, if you knew who it was, why are you here? Because I have to be able, I need the proof. I have to prove to the police that I'm not crazy and that that monster killed my, killed my little girl. We'll see what we can find out. Thank you. God bless you. I hope you find something. Me too. Well, $3,000 cover your services. Oh, it's that's all fine. Yeah, sure, that's fine. We don't take much time. We'll find this bastard, we'll find where he's hiding, and we'll find it real fast. What are you doing? We don't even know this guy. And you're gonna take a check from him? You dumb son of a bitch, we don't have a bank account. I got this, I got this. Who do I make this out to? Well, my mama always called me Cash. What do you know about this guy? He sleeps around a lot. He practically lives at Austin's on the Avenue. In fact, that's where they met. She was a waitress there during college. Hey, how about we get in touch with you in a couple of days? Please, take all the time you need. Well, $3,000, that'll get you a couple of days, so we'll be in touch in a couple of days. Okay. Yeah. So, where do we start, little bro? Well, first thing, I want to see this cabin. Good call. Break any silver bullets? You believe that stuff, don't you? What's the matter? Are you scared? Oh! 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 Are you done yet? Ow! Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Beach delivery. Hey, look around. For what? Anything. Oh, okay. You know, I wonder if werewolves go to the grocery store. No, think about it. I mean, just think how much money you could save by hunting your own food. There's only one problem wrong with your theory, cowboy. What's that? You're a werewolf? Yep. We still need basic things like water. Hmm. Vitamins and supplements. Not to mention how expensive those things are. Plus there's only a full moon once a month. He'd have to have a freezer full of meat to last that long. Hey, I think Carl's onto something. I think he is too. Let's go see where those lovebirds met. Yeah, let's go. Hey Sabrina. So uh, what are you doing after work? Did you want to go get something to eat? No, I don't want to be here, so why would I want to go do anything? Totally agree. I don't want to be here either. So uh, maybe not get something to eat, but maybe we should like hang out or something, you know? Uh, I'm not feeling that either. You know, you may be a playboy, but you're not going to be getting lucky with me. You need to go back. To okay, work. you know what? I'm just going to go out for you Thanks for the rejection. No problem. Come back. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're closed. Trey, we're not here for you anyway. It's okay. Let them in. <laughs> Good times, good times. Hey guys, what can we get for you? 
Well, for starters, how about a camera? Actually, what do you know about Billy Howe? I'm sorry? You guys cops or something? Or something. Well, I don't know who Billy Howe was, but that's Casanova. Casanova? That's what all the girls here call him. He's here every night. Well, almost every night. So what do you know about him? Nothing. That he likes to grab. I can't imagine why. And hit. And scratch. I was hoping you guys were cops. Because somebody needs to investigate him. Why? Trisha, a girl who used to tin bar with me, she went out to his cabin one night. She came back pretty beat up. But she never would talk about it. But I know the bastard did something to her. What else? Just that you're out of luck. Casanova's reliable for one thing and one thing only. He's never here on the 20th or the 21st of each month. Hey, have you seen uh, Adam? He's on break. You know what? Thanks for your time. Hey, you're not married, are you? No. Good, because you're the finest thing I've seen this side of 18. Oh, and I know, I know, I may be a little older, but honey, I promise you the ride of your life. Hey, I know it. Let's go. Okay then, another time. Piss her off? What? God, that was embarrassing. Yep, pissed her off. Yep. What? You're gonna love this. I hate you're gonna love it, but you're gonna love it. What does that even mean? The guy is never here on the 20 and 21st of each month. So? Full moon, cowboy. Ah, so we're going back to the cabin. Unfortunately, yes we are. Let's go. You know that stuff will give you gas. You ain't got to worry about it out here. You better save that food for later. Wow, we're not gonna be up here that long. Here, eat up. Hey! Oh, mm. What? I can't see anything from here. We're just observing. You're starting to believe it. Give me a break. <laughs> I knew it, you are. Shh, be quiet. There's nothing happening that we can see. What do you want me to do? Absolutely nothing. Where are you going? Check it out. Are you crazy? Like a fox. Oh, boom. Oh. I'm okay, I'm okay. Oh. 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 Oh.
can't show me. Oh. Ah, help! Oh, lucky! Ah. Cowboy! Duke! Where? Everywhere! Ow, 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 ow. What happened? Ow, ow, it bit me. It bit me. It bit what? Me. It bit me. It bit me. Well, give me some pictures tomorrow, will it? No, I forget. What the hell is going on, Paul? Hey, Loretta. No, it's Lieutenant right now. You got it? What are you doing here? I'm getting stitches. Ow! It's a long story. Then give me the Cliff Notes version, then. We took over Dad's business. You're kidding me. Why? Hey, Loretta. Come sit by me, I'll tell you all about it. Ow, ow, easy. It was a stupid job. A guy hired us to find his daughter's killer. A werewolf. Cowboy. What? You think a cat did this to me? <laughs> what? Carl Bordine? He's your client, isn't he? Maybe. What do you know? Carl Bordine has been pestering my precinct for months about finding his daughter's killer. A werewolf. Who lives here? Yeah, but y'all failed. And he came to us. Ow! Seriously, are you done? Oh, really? Well, guess whose property we're currently standing on? Cindy Howells. And guess what her maiden name is? <laughs> Carl Bordine is senile. Hell, Cindy's husband, Billy, I had to take out a restraining order on, her, on him after he went off into the woods and shot at one of his dogs. Yeah, but what about the meat locker? The what? Billy's a rancher. Actually... These men are trespassing. Yes, sir, and I promise you I will take care of them myself. They upset my wife. I've had enough of their crap. Hey, hey, hey. You think that, uh, you think that check's still good? I mean, it's made out to cash. Now, ma'am, be sure and keep that clean. A gunshot wound is a nasty thing to heal. We will have these men off of your property immediately, Mr. Howell. My officers told me that you did not want to press charges. Is that still the case? Just get these men out of here. You two, in the back of the car, now. You guys better pray to the Lord and thank him for saving your sorry asses. And which one are you fired into the cabin? Into the cabin? I fired at something in the friggin' woods. That's not what she said. Lucky, I don't feel so good. I can show you where I fired my gun. It wasn't anywhere near that damn cabin, Loretta. Lucky, I'm serious. I think I'm changing. What is he talking about? Uh, nothing. No, not nothing. That thing bit me last night. Oh, it's burning. You gotta promise me you'll kill me. Oh, I promise you, cowboy. Oh my, it's burning. It's burning. Will you get him under control? Oh, it's coming. It's go. Oh. oh, that is the most disgusting. Oh my God. Oh my God. What the hell? Oh yeah, I uh, yeah, I feel, I feel a lot better now. You dumbass. Oh. I told you that was gonna give you gas. Just like you told me to put that stupid scribble mark on the sign.